we are going to do some support. Now, as for what you want as support, I don't know. I feel like maybe you want reload speed, but we're going to go with magazine capacity. Damage is obviously best. Shot spread, I feel like, doesn't really matter so much. And since we're solo, we probably... I mean, 20% more ammo is also pretty good. That is pretty good, though. But stumble power... I mean, I guess we're not really going to be worrying about stumble. We're not going for stumbling, okay? So we're just going to go for big ol' ammos. Uh, and we're going to play on suicidal. Because I don't really want to be too stressed out here. So we're going to go with something a little bit easier. And I love that I consider suicidal to be on the easier side now um nuked is a good map i don't play on nuked very often so we're gonna go with this it's uh, it's fun recording these videos because i know that um this is something that i'm gonna be able to do right i can feel that deep in my bones i can feel that i am gonna be able to do this now i don't know this map too well so Oh, the piercing ability kind of feels good though, like bomb. Feels good to be able to pierce through stuff. That is one of my favorite parts of, uh, of using support or sharpshooter or even these days the medic. Lining them up and popping a bunch of heads all at once just feels real good. Um, so as for our weapon loadout late game, honestly, I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I love that this feels, like, slow to me. You know, like, when I first started recording these, oh, uh, no, it's still there. It felt like fast and I've started recording and actively trying to improve myself and it's better anyway um feels good recording these because I know that I'm gonna be able to do two a day for like a long time I said I wanted to do longer episodes but I'm honestly not sure I do because it is so easy to record like a 15 minute video right so I think we're gonna want to stick with that just because um so the HD 12 is apparently pretty good but the M4 is supposed to be like God tier but we also don't really have the dosh for it. So we're going to try out the HD-12 for this wave. And who knows, maybe in the future we're going to be doing... Um, is this the bullpup? No. I thought this was the bullpup, like, double barrel combat shotgun thing that is uh, is such a meme, apparently, among gun... gun enthusiasts what was i just i could not see that <laughs> it's a good feeling weapon it is slow to reload though if i was using this i think i'd want to go for the reload speed more than ammunition maybe i want to go for that anyway the thing with magazine capacity it gives you maximum bullets in the round too because it you don't get like X amount of bullets per round, you get X amount of like magazines. So when you have higher magazine capacity, you get more bullets as well for, for the round. It fires really quick. Maybe this is the combat bullpup thing. I'm, it's not. Oh, it is. I think it is. Because you have to pull back the little thingy at the front after the second shot. So it's like one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. And you can kind of like boom, boom. And maybe you can even like unload both of them. No. So it's, it's a quick little bam, bam. That's nifty. It's a little double barrel boy. So we're going to go for the Doomstick endgame, I think. Because I think that's like a really good weapon. 
Apparently the boomstick used to be really good, and then they just nerfed it and replaced it with the doomstick. I'm not sure. Anyway, I was talking about the video recording. It's nice, because I can, I can upload these, and for me, a big problem in my life is just having the motivation and the dedication to commit to one thing and, and do that consistently. So to have been able to do this for a whole week at this point, and at this point, you know, there, I'm going to have the second week as well. I mean, it just it feels really good. Because um, it's like a, you know, I've I've done it, you know. This cat's back in the game. So I don't I don't know how good this one's gonna be for um, the magazine capacity. Probably literally doesn't matter on this one at all because it's always gonna be four. So maybe magazine capacity is hot garbage. Maybe magazine capacity. We'll go for this one and this one. Uh, and on the next round, if we have less than seventy-two bullets, then. We know that uh, we got to worry about magazine capacity still. So we're going to try this. Is it going to work? I don't know. We are going to try it. Fire out the rest of those bullets over there. Oh, it's so nice to have those four shots, though. So we should be able to one-shot pretty easily any big Zed that comes up at us. Just pop right in the face. Just pop. I think that it might not have worked because there was a... Okay, we're going to have to leave. At least for a moment here. I do want to be doing this because it is good money. Is that coming down from there? Shotguns work so well against the gore fiends. As long as you have ammunition for them anyway. BAM! I always forget that there's also this entrance. I just don't look at it at all. I mean, you're watching the video so you can see, but... Oh, and this is the traitor. Nice. 62. So we lost a little bit of ammunition on it, but we gained a lot of reload speed. So I think that that's what we're going to want to go for. And then maybe an M4. Um, we're going to want to upgrade that as much as we can to get as much just damage out of it as we can. But we're also going to grab this because I just want to play around with it. Um, because And since we have the, the dosh for it, we may as well just autofill everything. So this is apparently a shotgun pistol. Fires out buckshot, I guess. You know? Is it the same one? Because I'm not doing the same one again. No, it's not. That's good. Nice apron, chainsaw man. All right, chainsaw man. Oh boy, that's not what I expected to have at all. <laughs> well, sometimes you just get swarmed by strikes. Sometimes it just happens. That's okay. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's do... I don't know. I mean... It's hard to pick a good one. What's what's Old West? I forget what Old West is. We're going to do an Old West run. It's probably a garbage one. <laughs> Most of the modded maps are pretty bad. So if I don't remember it, I doubt it's a good one. Oh, it's this one! Okay, I'm done with <laughs> support, though. 
I want to get SWAT to 25. I really, really do. So this time we're going to not go for the nail gun immediately. I should have started with... Oh well, it's okay. We're going to not go for the nail gun immediately because I've done a lot of that and I just don't want to bore you guys. So we're going to go for the Chris. Oh, I'm so used to the SWAT at this point because I've been doing so much SWAT, even off camera. Like, I don't know what level it was last time I made a video about it, but I played it a fair bit off camera. And it's just, it feels so natural to me now, you know? I've been mostly doing suicidal on it, a little bit of hell on earth. And it's just a good feeling. Perk. Especially solo. I love that all of the perks are like very viable in solo now. So it used to be that while you could do it, um, not every perk would thrive in solo. Whereas these days, every perk absolutely thrives in solo and it still has a place in uh, multiplayer, which is, is really, really nice. Uh, so we're going to go for the Chris, like I said, which means we're going to have to stick with this gun for a little bit longer. We will be using the nail gun in the end because it's just a really good gun, I'm sorry. We have to use it. But uh, I want to use the Chris. I like the Chris. It's a fun, you know, back when I used to play the SWAT, I like when I first, in the first SWAT video, I said that I like playing SWAT and then I discovered the, oh boy. I hope they don't get buffed by this guy. I mean, I know that they can. I'm just hoping that it doesn't happen. They did. They do a lot of damage when they're buffed by them, so... It's not something that I want to have happen, you know? Oh, so many of these guys. I don't like him. There's apparently a mutator to remove these guys, these guys, and well, those guys from the uh, the game. I might get it because they're just not for everyone. But sometimes I just I want some genuine good KF2 stuff. And I'm sorry, but these guys. I don't want to shoot things in the leg. That's not fun. I want to shoot him in the face. I don't want to shoot things in the chest. I want to shoot them in the face. And to be a little bit contrarian, I don't want to shoot crawlers in the face because they're really frustrating to do that. But uh, we'll just autofill. Now we got everything. We autofilled. So this is a gun that doesn't have an awful lot of ammunition. It's got, you know, what, 700? What, 707? But it uses up so many. Because it fires so quickly. It doesn't do a lot of damage per shot. It just does an, a buttload of shots. It's unlike the Gunslinger, which also uses a lot of ammunition, but that's only because it just doesn't have a lot. So we're going to have to just run past you and then take this guy out. Oh, I'm stuck. It does not do nearly as much damage as the nail gun, as evidenced by the fact that this guy is still alive.
My Chris ain't pretty, but damn. Like, I don't want to shoot him in the leg. I want to shoot him in the face. But it takes so many bullets to kill them in the face that it's just not worth it unless you're, like, going to one-shot them. Like with, you know, sharpshooter medic. Or maybe... The support? I don't know. We didn't get to really experiment with the support too much because that run did not work out very well. Alright, you are just going to get popped. Uh, so the next one is going to be up here. Perfect. Let's go get the nail gun. Yeah, we're going to get the nail gun, autofill. That'll do her. And we're going to continue to use the Chris for most things because I just like it. It's a fun gun. It reminds me of the uh, the Schneidzek from... Uh, KF1 on the medic, which was by far my favorite gun. These days when I play KF1, it just doesn't give me the same feeling of satisfaction, to be honest with you. But back then, definitely was my favorite gun. I used it a lot. Even back then in KF1, I was still doing mostly solo runs as medic. I mean, these days I'm doing mostly solo runs as... SWAT because it's just so good but I guess that's kind of the, the thing right is that the weapons remind me of the medic from before so we're not going down that way I, mean, I can probably just switch to the nail gun and take all of these guys out pretty much instantaneously but you know we're, we're avoiding the nail gun, except for when necessary. The one thing I don't like about this is... Uh, oh no, it's not this one, but... Um, I think the Heckler and Koch, maybe? Uh, anyway, one of the guns that this guy has is... Um, okay. That there is what we call a, uh, a nail gun moment. Wish I had unlimited ammo and because that's that's the the Z time for this is unlimited ammunition, which just sounds like a ton of fun and unbelievably useful. I mean, look. I know it's a little bit overpowered, but like it just It's such a good gun. I want to get better at Berserker. Berserker's on the list of things to get better at. We did, we did manage to win as Gunslinger in Hell and Earth. That one feels good. That one felt really good. I'm really proud of myself for that one. I don't think it was the best performance in the world, but I think it was fine. I'm back, and I've got some new tricks. <laughs> be right here right yeah I'm chasing you down you have no opportunity to not get chased okay yeah see he's just a little bit <laughs> sad <laughs> the SWAT really face rolls <laughs> some of these bosses sometimes you know it's uh, good fun. The Patriarch and Hans both get kind of dusted. Patriarch doesn't always get dusted. Sometimes he's able to beat me. Um, but Hans gets absolutely annihilated every single time. Except for one time where I played in um, that Tiny Towns map. And he fell into the water and I couldn't see him. And then every time he fell down I couldn't like barrage him and then I got lost and then I died anyway that's gonna do it for this episode thank you for watching and I will see y'all next time bye bye